Hello, I'm Mike. What is normalization and why should we use it? Good question. Uh, the normalization feature is only available in the waveform view of Adobe Audition, but extremely handy if you're recording something and you want to normalize it before using it in your mixes. Uh, now, let me clear something up. Normalization is not compressing. It's not making the sound really loud, the best it can be. It is simply taking your audio and making it bigger. Normalization, simple as that. Uh, let me give you an example. Hello, I'm talking a bit loud, and that's okay. Now, because I had the bit loud bit, when I go into effects and amplitude and compression, normalize, and usually I like to normalize to, well, let's say to 99.9% .9 apply. You see, because I was really loud there, it has normalized, increased the volume, but only to where the peak of my audio is. If I delete that peak, we now have a new peak, which is around here at around minus 9 dB. So favorites, well, you can do it through favorites as well, normalize, but I like to show you the effects, amplitude and compression, normalize process, 99.9%. .9 and now the new norm is actually that peak there. If I was to take that peak out, let me show you again, effects, amplitude and compression, normalize, apply, and again, the new peak is there. So it's not compressing it. It's not doing anything funky to your audio. It's just making it the loudest it can be before you move on to the next step that might be EQ or compression or simply inserting it into a mix in your multi-track. Normalization, I highly advise you do it with any audio before you start mixing it in the multi-track.